This morning, federal civil rights officials are looking into student complaints that Yale University has a sexually hostile environment. More than a dozen students allege Yale has failed to adequately respond to incidents of sexual harassment. CBS News correspondent Seth Doan reports. Yale University is among America's most sacred institutions, but now allegations are emerging that cast a shadow behind those Ivy League walls. In this shaky video, Yale fraternity brothers chant sexually charged slurs, like no means yes, and here pose with a sign reading, we love Yale sluts. These pictures are just part of what has become a federal investigation into whether Yale University is a hostile sexual environment. What we're saying is that Yale and its failure to respond to both public and private instances of sexual harassment and sexual assault has said to the campus, this is okay. That and belief pushed that, Alexandra Brodsky, Hannah Zivan, and 14 yeah, other men and yeah. women at Yale to file a complaint charging the university has repeatedly failed to take action on harassment and sex crimes. Yale has never expelled someone for the crime of rape. Never. Is that what we're talking about here, rape? Something that serious? Oh, absolutely. The school refutes the charges, adding in a statement, Yale does not and will not tolerate sexual harassment. If the charges are true, the Ivy League school would be in violation of Title IX, the federal mandate which bars any school that receives federal funding from discriminating based on gender. At stake, more than $500 million. What do you say to someone who says, my gosh, you are just overreacting? I don't think misogyny is funny. I don't think bigotry is funny. I think um, hateful speech can have a huge impact. It's unclear what impact this complaint will have on this storied university, now forced to defend its rich tradition against a newly exposed reputation. Seth Doan, CBS News, New Haven, Connecticut.